Welcome dear friends to a new video of Sonic Gazelle Pilot. Today I wanted to show you how you can plan a flight in Navigraph charts and uh, bring it to the avionics of the A320 fly-by-wire. So let me bring up uh, Navigraph charts which has an in-game panel in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And for this example I'm gonna fly from this airport here in Belgium which is Echo Bravo Oscar Sierra and has the name Ostende to Brussels. Brussels is this place, Brussels National and has the ICAO code Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo. So let's make a new flight. Uh, we are going to select uh, Ostende and add it to the route as the origin and then we are going to select Brussels on the map and add it to the route as the destination. Now we uh, have uh, several runways at the origin. Uh, let's select a runway depending on the wind. The good runway is 26 so we'll add this to the route and uh, we'll select the departure um, and uh, in this case we are going to go with um, This one, uh, KOK 6M, and I add it to the route. And then uh, at the destination, we need uh, to select a runway also. Uh, the destination is Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo, which is Brussels National Airport, and we select a, a runway. Uh, the first two are not used, the first three are not used. 25 right is used, so we'll add it to the route. And then we have to select an arrival. And uh, obviously, as we come from uh, Cock, we are going to select also Cock A as the arrival, Cock 8A added to the route. Then we uh, have still an approach to select and as it is runway 23 uh, or it was runway 25 we are going to select the ILS for runway 25. Uh, in this case uh, it's gonna be uh, ILS runway 25 right which is this one and I, I add it to the route. And with that we have a full flight plan. Uh, from uh, Ostend to Brussels. So what we can do now to import this into the avionics of our uh, Airbus 320 fly-by-wire is click here and copy this string which is actually the uh, which is actually the flight routes and when I once I have copied that I go to uh, Simbrief dispatch we are going to do a new flight um, I'm flying with uh, Brussels Airlines so that's B Echo uh, Lima flight number 8422 depart from where we know Ostend is Echo Bravo Oscar Sierra and we arrive in Brussels, which is Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo. Um, the aircraft is A320, A20N with the airframe fly-by-wire. All the rest of the information uh, can be accepted and then we go down to the selected route and here we paste what we copied from uh, Navigraph charts and we can click analyze routes and it's a valid uh, route, so here is the route that we want. It is in Simbrief now, so we are going to generate the flight. And it's being stored on the service now, ready to brought, be brought in avionics in our A320 fly-by-wire. So all we have to do is make sure that we have a fly-by-wire aircraft selected. Uh, which is uh, the case. I have the fly-by-wire uh, airplane 
can actually sh search for its fly by wire. Oh, let me search for A320. And here we have the fly by wire simulations uh, airplane. Make sure you have selected this. We are going to select Ostend as the departure, which is Echo Bravo Oscar Sierra. And uh, we also going to select a stand or a gate. So there's some available here. Let me take uh, parking 41 and set that at the departure before we enter uh, to start the flights. So here we are in the A320 fly-by-wire. What I'm going to do is uh, start up the plane. So we have external power available. We put on battery 1 and battery 2. APU bleed, APU master switch and APU start. Crew oxygen and then put on the ADIRS which will uh, start up the primary flight display and then the fuel pumps of course. Most important for what I was going to show is that I uh, go to the fly pad and then on the fly pad you just simply click on it to start it up and uh, our flight that was originally created with Navigraph charts and then imported in Simbrief and then generated by Simbrief is ready to be imp imported here. Import Simbrief data and here we have it. We have Echo Bravo Oscar Sierra which is Ostende to Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo which is, which is Brussels National Airport. And from here you can go forward and uh, configure the MCDU, so we go to ATSU, AOC menu, init, init data request, and there you go, EBOS to EBBR. Uh, you also want to um, check the flight plan because there's going to be some discontinuities. Um, trying to scroll through it but it doesn't really work uh, oh yeah you have to go to init first init request so that you have the from and the to uh, also our call sign and then you can go to flight plan and then uh, we are going to uh, get rid of uh, discontinuities by clicking on clear and on the discontinuity and then you go to the departure airport EBOS, you choose the departure and let me bring up Navigraph uh, charts where we planned our flight. At uh, EBOS we are departing from runway 26 with the COX-6 mic departure. So 26 with the COX-6 mic departure, we insert that. And then we go to our destination airport, Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo. And then we go to arrival. And at our destination airport, Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo, we have 25 rides with the COC 8 Alpha arrival. So 28 rides, uh, 25 rides, sorry. With the COC 8 Alpha arrival. And with this inserted, we have our full flight plan. We can scroll through it. Uh, there is still a flight plan discontinuity here, which I'm going to clear. And uh, I think that we should have now our full uh, flight plan in the MCDU. I'm waiting for this primary flight display to load. If we go to plan and zoom out a little, you will see that the flight plan is actually uh, on the primary flight display. I see a discontinuity here. Let me try and find it. Scrolling through the
yeah this one here that I can clear and now we have our full flight let me zoom in a little bit our full flight plan is here you can scroll through it and that's it you're ready to continue setting up the MCDU and have a good flight I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned uh, something and please give me a thumbs up, it's always appreciated and goodbye from Sonic Gazelle Pilot.